Hi, I'm Graham Bauer. I write about fitness for Culture Mac, and today we're going to look at the push up. Push ups are one of the world's most hated exercises. In the movies, Marine Corps drill instructors shout, Get down and give me 40! as a kind of punishment. But the push up doesn't deserve its bad reputation. In fact, it can be a versatile, effective, and enjoyable form of exercise. And better still, you can do it anywhere without any special equipment, which makes it perfect for home workouts during the quarantine. In this video, we're going to look at how to do push ups correctly and how you can use your iPhone and Apple Watch to log them automatically. So let's get started. Push ups are a body weight exercise, which means you use your own body as the weight rather than pumping iron. That means push ups are a true test of your strength to weight ratio. The heavier you are, the more strength you'll need to push yourself off the ground. Push-ups target four major muscle groups, your pectorals or pecs, your anterior deltoids or shoulders, your triceps, which is the back of your upper arm, and your core. To get into the start position, lie flat on the floor, face down, and place your hands, palms down, directly below your shoulders. Push up with your arms and keep your body aligned so that only your toes and hands are touching the ground and your arms are fully extended. Lower yourself in a controlled motion until your upper arms are parallel with the ground and push back up to the start position. Keep your core tight and your body aligned at all times. If you want to log your push-ups automatically, there's an app for that. 22 Push-ups is a free app that cleverly uses the camera in your iPhone to automatically count your repetitions. Using the app is simple. Just tap the play button, place your iPhone onto your chest, and start doing push-ups. When you've finished, you can save your workout to Apple's Health app and share a video of your chest going up and down on social media, if you really want to. If you want to log your push-up progress over time, you can check out my app. It's called Reps and Sets, and it's a free download for Apple Watch. You can set up a program on your iPhone of the number of push-ups you want to do each day. And then on your wrist, you'll get notifications when it's time to do push-ups and when it's time to rest. If you're struggling with push-ups, don't worry, you're not alone. It's a tough exercise which requires a lot of strength, so you want to build up to it gradually over time. One way to get started is the half push-up. Half push-ups are the same as full push-ups, except you keep your knees on the floor. This means you've got less body weight to work against. And if you find the half push-up is also too hard, you can try starting with a wall push-up instead. If you find push-ups are too easy, you could try incline push-ups that target your lower chest, or decline push-ups that target your upper chest. world record for the most push-up repetitions is a staggering 10,507. Personally, I can only manage 55, but my goal is to get to 100. Whatever your current fitness level, push-ups provide a great way to build strength and stamina. So what are you waiting for? Drop down and give me 40. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and you can find more fitness videos about iPhone and Apple Watch on the Colter Mac YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at Graham Bauer, and until next time, bye.